Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Android 6.0 Marshmallow um, on your Nexus 4. Uh, this is a, a, a tutorial to install the unofficial ROMs out there. And um, this will work for uh, almost pretty much any ROM available for the Nexus 4. It's pretty easy. So uh, first of all, make sure you have two things, uh, root access and uh, the recovery, custom recovery, TWRP. So if you don't have those two things, and of course on the unlock bootloader, the first step so if you don't have that three things uh, you can uh, check out this uh, free software called as the nexus root toolkit uh, using this software you can unlock the bootloader uh, even relog the bootloader it also you can root install custom recovery so everything is pretty uh, self-explanatory you, you just have to follow s some steps on the screen so make sure you have enabled usb debugging and um, make sure you connect the device in download mode uh, actually the the fast boot mode by holding down the power and the volume down button and connect it and then you know uh, just first unlock the bootloader it will going to wipe everything up your data and all that so make sure you make a backup and then uh, root and uh, install custom recovery select your uh, phone and of course the software that you're running if you don't know which build you are running you can uh, uh, select any build so yeah that's that so I'm just gonna show you how to install this ROM uh, or any 6.0 Marshmallow ROM on the Nexus 4. So first of all, uh, after rooting and unlocking the bootloader and installing the custom recovery, uh, I have downloaded the ROM from the link down below in the description. You have to download it from the link down uh, below in the description. So uh, that will take you to the XDA and copy that ROM to your internal memory of this uh, of your phone. Of course, there's no SD card support option here, so you need to connect it. Uh, uh, you need to transfer it to your internal memory of your Nexus 4. After transferring it, go into the fast boot mode and select recovery mode here. And just gonna take a few seconds uh, to go to TWRP recovery. And as you can see, this is how it looks like. So whatever build you are running, 5.1.1, 5.0, 4.4.4, KitKat, whatever, uh, just go here first, do a wipe data factory reset of your device. And after doing a wipe data factory reset, go into uh, the, um, the install tab and it'll going to browse uh, to the place where your uh, ROM is. So scroll down and if you have copied to the root of your device then it's, it's going to be easy to find so i've also um, had the link down below in the description for the g apps which i also highly recommend to install without that you're not going to be having features like google now on tap and all that cool stuff so um first install the rom uh, first do the five data factory reset then install the rom then install the g app so uh, boot it uh, boot your phone it will boot up fine if anything happens uh, with the ui or anything like that just go back into recovery mode and do a factory data reset again so like this wipe data factory reset so yeah that's pretty easy and that's how you can get the marshmallow on the Nexus 4. If you guys have any questions, any, um, any, 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 any questions, just comment down below and I will going to help you with that. So it's pretty easy. That's how I installed uh, the minimal ROM here I'm running at the moment. I've done a review separately for that. I'm also going to test out two more ROMs. One is the Chroma ROM and there's another one ROM available for this one. So yeah, I will be testing out those ROM and out of the best one, uh, we'll select it and to uh, for comparing it to other phones. So yeah, it's, it's looking pretty smooth here. I will put that link down below in the description for all the available ROMs uh, out there. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.